The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds. When I got in the deer industry years ago, I had a lot to learn. And years later, I realized that just like any farmer, there's always something to learn and truthfully, the learning never stops. Back when I got started in deer farming, I remember wanting to surround myself with the smartest and most successful deer farmers around, and I did. Many of those farmers have appeared on our shows over the years. As I've traveled to these farms and I've gotten to know more people in the deer farming industry, I kept hearing about what some people call the dream team. This dream team was actually two men that specialized in reproduction of white-tailed deer, and they've been known as leaders in this industry now for more than two decades. In the deer industry, when you hear of Southern Veterinary Services, those in the know think of these guys. Today we catch up with the Dream Team, and it's just another day on the job for Dr. Greg Stewart and Dr. Stan Wachowski. On this part of the show, I'll introduce you to the Dream Team of Southern Veterinary Services as they prepare for work on a deer farm in South Texas. Greg Stewart was my AI vet in Oklahoma. He's done a great job for me up there, but more than that, as a DBC Executive Director, Greg has helped me with all kinds of contacts about CWD live testing and everything across the nation. He gives back to our industry, and our industry is a lot better off for people like Greg Stewart to give back with their heart. Southern Veterinary Services is a, a concept, and the concept is overall wellness and reproduction for white-tailed deer and small ruminants. And so that concept includes semen collection and freezing, embryo transfer, uh, laparoscopic artificial insemination, transcervical artificial insemination. Southern Veterinary Services came into being in the 1980s. Um, and we've been involved in reproduction in small ruminants for a number of years, going back to the, to the 90s of the last century. And uh, someone's asked the question, how many times have we stuck a laparoscope into an animal to either implant an embryo or to laparoscopically inseminate them. And Dr. Bachowski and I lost count uh, a while back at about 100,000. So uh, there's a fairly strong depth of experience in, a, in the two of us working together. If you'd like to access our veterinary practice, if you'll go to www.southernvet.co, uh, you'll find a lot of educational resources there. You'll also find a new client information form. You can tell us what your interests are, how you would like to engage us, and so forth, and we'll contact you and, and begin to build a relationship. We hope that relationship lasts as long as some of the ones that we have now. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by New Dart, leading the industry in accuracy. Today, Dr. Bachowski and I are at the Cross Ranch, and it's a little bit south of Hondo, and we're, we're breeding some deer for one of our clients, and it's important for us to have relationships with our clients so that they can call us and we have availability, and, and any time we can, we can help them with a the problem. So today is, is laparoscopic artificial insemination, and what that is is we have used a combination of hormones to synchronize the females that we're breeding today uh, and, and pulled the, the CEDAR device, the controlled intervaginal drug delivery device, so that um, each one of these girls can all be bred within about an hour or so of the, of, of the other. So today is about getting mamas pregnant, it's about trying to get proper number of babies, uh, it's about efficient use of semen coming from Dr. Bachowski's lab. This procedure doesn't take but about three minutes per deer once they get inside the hospital. What's unique about uh, Southern Veterinary Services is that building right there. It's a, it's a hospital, it's a mobile hospital that they can do any type of artificial insemination at any type of facility. So it could be 10 degrees below zero and they've got a heater and, and all, or it could be 90 degrees like it is sometimes in South Texas, it's got air conditioning. So it only takes about three minutes once the deer moves inside the hospital and when it comes out, what's gonna happen is they're gonna take the deer, they're gonna take it while it's sedated, put it back in the pens, reverse it, it'll wake up in a few minutes, it'll never know it was bred. I tell people this is kinda like a football game. In other words, uh, it's time sensitive. You have to get it done at the right time. Uh, every one of the people that is here has got 
a certain position that they're going to play. And in order to be organized, they don't change. You know, when you're assigned a position, you keep that position the entire game, if you will. Uh, who the quarterback of this team is, is Stan. Stan's inside the hospital right here. He's evaluating the seaman, he's preparing it, getting it ready. He's the quarterback. As far as the head coach goes, that's going to be Greg Stewart. Greg is in there and he's the one that's actually doing the final procedure and making sure that all these deer are taken care of properly and they all come out bred. Today is about making it easy on people, uh, getting these deer bred. More often than not, there's a little bit of anxiety on the part of the, the owner when, when the deer are being bred. So another one of our rules is to try to lower anxiety when we first get here. So we sighted the trailer this morning uh, we drop the leveling jacks, uh, level the trailer up, and it makes everything uh, stable just like it was built here. Well, you know, when we get the dough ready to be inseminated, we we'll pull the semen out of the three nitrogen tank. We throw it out in the throwing box. We empty it to the vial, and we test it with a small drop. Make sure that the semen is viable, motile, and, and dense. And then we'll make a decision if we can use the whole straw or you know, split the straw halfway, three-way, four-way, sometimes even five-way. Depends on the quality of the semen and request by the owner. So this is on the fly check. We want to make sure that the semen that goes to the dough will do the job. So I will be throwing the semen, evaluating the semen, and then diluting the semen, then loading the semen into specially, specially um, designed gun that holds the semen and now we're passing it to Dr. Stewart to perform the Dr. Stewart and Dr. Wachowski make this delicate procedure look like a walk in the park, much like you would expect two specialized medical professionals that have worked together for so many years. Seems like in no time, these deer were finished and the result of this laparoscopic breeding will benefit the rancher for many years to come. Procedures like this are commonplace for the dream team of Southern Veterinary Services, and their clients simply can't say enough good about them. For more information about Southern Veterinary Services, you can log on to their website, or you can give them a call. And when we get finished, we'll, uh, we'll wipe down everything, disinfect everything, uh, put the tools in the autoclave, and, and head to the next place. All right, Gene is from Texas, says, I'm wondering if you can tell me why in the world, when a deer farm has a case of CWD, do they kill all the animals? It seems crazy to me, if there's going to be any advances in research, why don't they let them live and observe them? Gene, that is a great question. You know, I've been wondering that myself. It seems like CWD, or chronic wasting disease, is something that everybody is scared about. But the only way that we're going to learn about the true effects of chronic wasting disease is to study the animals that have chronic wasting disease. And when the experts, so-called experts, go and annihilate all the animals that are exposed to CWD, it, uh, in my opinion, it destroys a lot of uh, obvious things that we could have for research. And so. That's a real good question, and I wish that somebody out there could answer that question. If you can answer the question, shoot me an email, and I'll share it with Gene and everybody else. Gene, great question. Thanks for sending it.